after lit in Zilker Park, the trail of lights is about to begin. And the drag is lit on Guadalupe as some spirited Texas fans take over the streets. Good evening, I'm Nikki Jackson. Kim Barnes has the night off. Our top story, it's the first ever Big 12 championship, and the winning team is right here in Austin. In spite of the predictions that put Nebraska on top, the Longhorns are home tonight after a thrilling win against the Cornhuskers. Spirit of the Texas wind spilled out into the streets surrounding UT. Guadalupe was filled with a frenzy of fans, all feeling the pride of another Longhorn championship. KB24 Shelton Green gets us caught up in the burnt orange frenzy. Around noon, we took our camera in search of diehard Texas fans. We found plenty of them at the tavern. And they are loud. Just ask Diane Casey. I have the radio in my ear so I can listen to the Longhorn game because you can't always hear it here at the tavern because everybody gets so excited. And early in the game, the horns gave fans plenty to be excited about. We call ourselves the Longhorn Helmet Heads. Defense gets up! Oh, no, helmet! Ex-UT football player Cotton Spryer left his horns at home, but so far he's impressed with UT. For Nebraska to be a 20-point favorite, in my opinion, is very ludicrous. Believe me, we're going to win this game. Now, this guy never played for UT. How's that? Who are you pulling for? Texas. Why? Because they're Southwest Conference. You know, you got to stay loyal to the old Southwest Conference. An upset that surprised everyone except for these fans. Nebraska couldn't hang. Nebraska couldn't hang. There is a God and he loves burn orange. James Brown, you did a great job playing within yourself. And the Texas tradition usually reserved for the end of an event only signaled the beginning of a celebration. In the spirit of Texas, Shelton Green, KB24 News. They're not having any fun out there. Mike <laughs> Barnes joins us now. Everybody said the Longhorns had to play a perfect game mm -hmm. to win. They just about did. Almost. I think there were two penalties in the game, a couple of interceptions. But what a game by those Longhorns. The players did a great job of not making many mistakes, and John Makovic called some incredible plays. Two 60-yard touchdowns, one a run, one a pass, and then a fourth down play that you may never forget. Up by three points. Two and a half minutes to play. Longhorns have the ball. Fourth and inches. Makovic calls a pass. What's he doing? But look at this. Wide, wide open. James Brown hits Derek Lewis. And this one's over. He doesn't find the end zone, but Priest Holmes does on the next play. 37 to 27. The Longhorns shocked the nation. We're excited. We're happy. We set some sights at the beginning of the year to do some things. One of them was to win the Big 12 championship. And I think I think a lot of people thought, well, you, know, you might be the third or fourth or fifth team in the conference. But we never gave up. And there were times during the year when I'm, I'm sure some people probably didn't think we had much of a shot. But these guys just kept working. They just never let go. That fourth down play was a big one, but there were several others, and guess what? We're going to look at a lot of them. A lot of highlights coming up later on during sports. Looking forward to it again. Yes. Thanks. Well, there are three bulls. As Longhorns win gives them the first ever Big 12 sh championship and sends them into the prestigious Bowl Alliance. There are three bowls in the Bowl Alliance, the Orange, the Fiesta, and the Sugar. UT will go either to the Orange or the Fiesta and is guaranteed an $8 million check, which they have to share with other Big 12 schools. The Alliance will make their picks tomorrow afternoon.